Good morning, GMS. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Alice. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of December 5th, 2022. GMS will be partnering with the Good Cheer Fund from November 28th through December 15th to help Johnson County residents to get the food they need. You can give the cans to your pride teacher. Information was passed out concerning the 8th grade trip to Washington, D.C. by a child social studies teacher this week. The deadline to register for the trip is Friday, January 13th. A $50 non-refundable deposit is required by that date to reserve a spot on the trip. If you have other questions about the trip, you can contact Mr. Ellington or Mr. Reinhardt. If you are walking to Sherm, be sure to have something reflecting on so cars can see you. Remember, the last day of the second nine weeks is on Wednesday the 21st. Make sure to check your power school and make sure that you have all your work turned in. Now let's get to the interview of the week, top trending in the JMS Sports Update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to have fun and make sure to get into the Christmas spirit. Welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I am Cohen Whitson here with the Data Secretary, Mrs. Whitson. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Question one, would you like to start telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. I started working for Greenwood Schools in July, and before that, I worked at Marion University and Franklin College. My husband Clint and I have been married for 14 years, and we have three boys who are 11, 9, and 5. And in our spare time, we like to go hiking at state and national parks and visit baseball stadiums. If you could move to another state, what would it be and why? If I could move to another state, I would move to Hawaii because it's warm and beautiful. What are your hobbies you like to do when you are not working? I'm not working. I like to spend time with my family and friends, watch my boys play sports, um, and run and read. What is your favorite holiday tradition? My favorite holiday tradition is on Christmas Day, we make a cake and sing happy birthday to Jesus to help us to remember what the day is all about. What would you do if you found a penguin in your freezer? <laughs> I would laugh because in a house full of boys, you never quite know what you're going to find. Thank you for coming on our show today, Mrs. Whitson. Have a great week. Thank you. You too. Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Daniel. And I'm Nolan. Let's get started with number one. According to Doggo News, every winter, Alaskan fishers head out to the Bering Sea to harvest snow crabs. However, on October 10th, 2022, officials announced that the 2022 to 2023 snow crab season had been canceled due to a sharp decline in their population. Ocean surveys indicate that the number of snow crabs has shrunk from an estimated 11.9 billion in 2018 to about 1.9 billion in 2022. Snow, crabs, snow crab is by far the most abundant of all bearing sea crabs species that is caught commercially, said Benjamin Daly, a researcher with the Alaska Department of Fish in game so the shock and awe of billions missing from their population is worth no nothing and that includes all the females and babies and number two according to google trends minecraft users are known for their creativity power gamers have used the virtual lego like cubes to build entire towns cities and even middle earth from the lord of the rings now Christopher Slayton has raised the bar by building the entire known universe in Minecraft. The 18-year-old San Diego, Californian, California resident approaching to copying the cosmos was very, was very methodical. Before creating Earth, he went skydiving to observe the beauty from above. To ensure our planet was to scale, he used a globe to measure the distance between each co continent. That's all for Top Trending. Have a great day, GMS. everybody, Miss Jessica here from Greenwood Public Library for another Greenwood Reads. I'm up in the staff studio today and I've got four new books for you. 
The first one I have is called Each Night Was Illuminated by Jody Lee Anderson. And it is about two teens who, when they were children, they saw a very bad um, accident. They witnessed it together. And um, then Elias moved away to Australia. Um, and, and Cassie, she just kind of went on with her normal life. But then Elias comes back, moves back from Australia, and um, he and Cassie get to know each other again, and she starts following him um, when he goes out on ghost hunts because after this accident they witnessed, he now believes in ghosts, and Cassie decides to join him on his adventures. The second one I have for you today is called Creep, a love story by Liga, Ligia, I don't know, Day Pinafore. And this, if you have seen the Netflix show You, a little bit like that, um, it is definitely a, about someone named Rafi, a girl named Rafi, who admires people and follows them. And she's a stalker. So this is her story. Check it out. The next one I have for you is The Luminaries. You may have seen this. It's getting a lot of promotion. It's by Susan Denard. And it is about a girl named Winnie Wednesday, which I just absolutely love, um, and how the Luminaries are an ancient order that protect her town. Um, and she has finally reached the point where she has to um, discover danger lurking through the woods and take on the deadly luminary trials herself. So that is the luminaries. And the last one I have for you today, I have mostly because I absolutely love the title. It is called A Reader, I Murdered Him by Betsy Cornwell. And it is a little bit of a shake up on Jane Eyre. There's a girl named Adele who is sent away to boarding school in London and she is violently assaulted, and this turns her into a vigilante and a murderer. Um, so you should also give this a try. I'm excited to read it myself. So that's all I've got for you today. Uh, make sure you give them a read, um, visit the library, and visit our website, www.greenwoodlibrary.us, for some more recommendations. Just wanted to give you a heads up on some of our December programs, a reminder that every Tuesday we have video games that you can play, and every Thursday we watch a movie, and on December the 9th we're going to have an after hours program. It's a cozy reading evening, and I definitely hope that you will sign up for that. Um, you can register on our calendar on our website, www.greenwoodlibrary.us. Again, that program is our cozy evening, our cozy reading evening, and it will be on December 9th from 6 to 8 p.m. Bye! Hi, I'm Dexter. This is this week's home events for sports. Starting at Thursday, December 8th, it will be 7th grade boys basketball versus Franklin Community starting at 5.30 p.m. at home. That's all for sports. Welcome to the new GMS Weather Channel and let's take a look at this week's forecast. On Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday you might want to bring a rain jacket or an umbrella because there's a very high chance of precip per precipitation. And on Tuesday <laughs> there's a lot of wind so um, that might cause the temperatures to drop. On Thursday and Friday, um, there will be clear skies, but it will still be very cold. And again, on Friday, the wind is very high, so it might end up being colder than it says it is. That's all for GMS weather. Welcome to GMS Roll Call. I'm Lacey, and today we are asking kids, what are you most excited about winter break? I'm most excited to watch Christmas movies while drinking hot chocolate. I'm most excited for Christmas Day to unwrap presents and stuff. I'm most excited about unwrapping presents for Christmas. I'm excited for sleeping in. I'm most excited to see my family. I'm excited for watching Violent Night. I'm excited to stay up late and sleep in. 
I'm most excited to play video games and go on a vacation with my family.